All right, another beautiful day in Kyoto. All right, so a little bit drowsy because probably slept at like maybe 2 a.m. last night and woke up to like 7. So I usually need like 10 hours of sleep, but the reason why Cindy and I stayed up so late was to watch the Ninja, Ninja Go or Ninja Go movie and it was awesome because the reason I love watching Lego movies is that it re-sparks a sense of creativity, this sense of childlike wonder and something that Cindy pointed out to me which is interesting about the Lego movies which is very empowering is that always the heroes and the kids or the characters in the movie are able to actually build their way out of a situation. So, you know, backs against the wall and, you know, enemies about to kill them, whatever. They're like, okay, you know, let's take all these random Lego pieces and let's build a solution. And I think this is such a positive way to think about life, is that no matter how shitty stuff gets, there's always some sort of possible solution for us to build our way out of the negative solution. So, ultimately, I think this is why Lego and Minecraft and all those things are so good. Because it teaches children, hey, you know, you could actually control and build and shift your own reality with these Lego blocks. And I remember actually as a kid, I loved Legos. I was really into Lego construction toys. I actually got really into Lego Technics, which is like um, the version that allows you to build gears and toys and cars with valves and levers and pulleys and hydraulics and all that stuff. So it was actually really good for my creativity because whatever was in my imagination, I could build it. And it's a little bit sad because as you get older, you no longer feel that you have the power to build, to create. You feel like uh, disempowered because you feel like you need some more money. Ooh, this is kind of a nice urban landscape here. I'll take a photo of that. It's kind of nice. Anyways, I'm getting distracted. So, and this is actually the thing I really love about Minecraft. I've never played Minecraft, but I really like the concept, is that kids, you know, obviously kids have no money, but they have all the time and the energy and the uh, creative power within them is that you could essentially have free unlimited Legos and you could build whatever crazy imagination you have in your mind. And you know, parents don't like Minecraft obviously because kids could spend like hours just totally engaged in it. But think about it, it's kind of good is that it empowers the child to think that anything that I got in my mind, I could create it. And so the problem with us as adults, like let's say you have a concept for a house you want to build. But obviously, like, in the real world, it kind of sucks because you need a lot of money to build a house. You gotta buy property, you gotta buy the materials, you gotta hire contractors to build the thing, or you try to build it yourself. And so you feel so disempowered. And, you know, even if you think about photography and making your own YouTube channel and everything, is that, like, it feels like the barrier to entry is so high is that we feel like we don't have access to the right tools to do whatever we desire to do. But the cool thing is, actually, if you realize it, in today's day and age, you don't actually need access to much. Like even this video I'm making, I'm using like a Lumix LX100, which you could actually buy like second hand for only maybe, or even buy brand new for only like 600 bucks. And you know, even that's the thing I love about the iPhone and you know, other smartphones that you actually do have the power to create whatever you desire. And even making art or making photographs is as simple as going on a little bit, going on a little walk and just looking at the world around you and just photographing whatever interests you. Taking a step back, recomposing, making sure I don't get run over. And so realize that, in fact, the future is full of so much optimism. There's so much you could do, even like, this is actually kind of, kind of cool is that we're talking about, you know, building yourself, building your own future. And here you have this 
pin game built. Kind of nice moments. And so realize, yeah, like, this is, this is, this is actually a, probably a good example. So think about this, like, this is your mind and all these little pillars and all these slats and all these raw materials are essentially, you know, books you read, interviews you read, art, media you consume. And regardless of whatever your life situation is, you know, you might not have a lot of money, but you have your mind and your mind is the ultimate way for you could build whatever creation you want. And this is actually why I'm so optimistic still about the internet is that with the internet, and especially if you start your own website or your own blog, you could create your own empire of yourself. You could create um, information architectures and you could create almost anything and you could share it anything and it's all free. And this is why photography, once again, is so great is that you could build visual images essentially for free. See that I like this nice little curve composition here, this curve here, this curve here, this curve here. And when you're shooting, try to get this stuff coming from this corner. So, yeah, so realize that. I mean, sometimes, to be honest, life could be hard, it could be difficult, because every day, even just waking up feels like a challenge, and you know, I know, I know the feeling, but just to think about life more optimistically, think about it, like, you could wake up every single day, and whatever you want to create in your mind, just try to build it one day at a time, one brick at a time. If you're creating um, a skyscraper, you know, it's a little bit overwhelming to think, oh, okay, Within one day, I have to build the whole skyscraper. It takes a lot of people, it takes many days, you need a foundation, you need you know, a blueprint, architecture plans, whatever. But if you break it down and say, okay, I'm gonna build a skyscraper, it might take me like five years, but I'll work on it every single day and just work on one different part a day. And as long as you see even like 1% progress every day, I think it's a good way to stay motivated because I don't think you actually need more than that to stay motivated is, you know, so as an artist or as a photographer or as a content creator, or whatever, every single day making one new video, making one new photograph, making one new blog post, making one new something, and essentially realize that you could build your own future brick by brick. So for more inspiration, watch the Lego movie and also for more information and more inspiration on how you could take your own photography to the next level, check out my new Udemy course, Ultimate Beginner's Guide to Mastering Photography, your personal blueprint to staying inspired. So let us keep walking around keep making photos so generally my tip is when it comes to taking photos once again always look at the edges of the frame and get close And also as a tip, rather than just zooming in and out, walk a little bit closer to wherever you are. So walk, 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 and look up and just get closer to whatever you're photographing. And tilt your camera more. See these lines here, these lines here. All right, so those are some practical tips is also when you're shooting just still life photos, 
think about when you're composing, look at the edges of the frame and get the diagonals to come out. So yeah, remember photography is more than just making photos. It's about mental therapy, it's about optimism, and it's a good lens, pun intended, to see the world. Hello, peace out.